Hello, welcome to my channel, Princess Twilight Essence here. Please don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe for all my new content. If you already did, I greatly appreciate you. Thank you for all your love and support for my journey. These messages may or may not resonate with you, so take what does and leave the rest for who it does. These messages are also timeless, so you can go back and watch them at any time. This collective energy messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to start off with some moon magic, deep moon messages. So we're just going to get a couple shuffles, and then we'll get some messages. And these messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So Capricorn's moon message, I accept renewal and delight and fresh starts, new moon. So our next message we're going to get is from our ancestor spirit. Hope these messages resonate with you. Hope these messages are inspiring and bring you lots of clarity. Hope these messages have been helpful for you. If they are, please make sure you let me know in the comments. Also, I don't mind suggestions. I actually love them. So if you don't mind, also in the comments, leave your suggestions of what signs I should read for. Thank you again. These messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And this is your ancestor spirit message. So your message today you got from your ancestors is connect with water, ocean, water spirits, hydrate. The water spirits are calling to you as they know you have a connection to natural water sources such as lakes, rivers, oceans, or ponds. They want you to heed your urge to visit the water. This card is a reminder of the benefits being near water brings you. Water relaxes your mind and body and allows you to feel at peace again. You do not have to live on the water, but you may like to book a holiday or visit a place with water to which you feel drawn. This card comes to remind you of the importance of drinking clean water and hydrating your body. Drinking water helps flush out toxins. It can also help you ground your energy. Look at how much water you are consuming. You may need to drink a little more when you are physically active, in the heat, or if unwell. Being hydrated helps you concentrate, so have a glass of water when studying or learning something new. Our next message is from the Angels of Abundance. Again, these messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So first we got savings. As you can 
consistently save for your future. Your future is saved. You do not you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Then we got employment change. If you don't see, there's like this beautiful horse in the background, so that may be significant for you. Your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You're being supported each step of the way. And then our last message from your Angels of Abundance is Quiet Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. So your final message from the Angels of Abundance, the bottom of the deck, your overall energy is conscious consumer. You have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Moving on to our next messages. So we're going to pull some messages from the magic of unicorns. These messages may or may not resonate with you, so take what does and leave the rest for who it does. Hope these messages have been helpful and inspiring. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe for all my new content. If you already did, I greatly appreciate it. These messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is your Magic of Unicorns Oracle message. We got number 32, Cosmic Ruby. Be a peace ambassador. Practice cosmic mastery. This is the card of peace and wisdom. So your unicorn is inviting you to be a peace ambassador. Archangel Uriel is in charge of the development of the solar plexus chakra. His powerful cosmic rubies radiate red for action, gold for wisdom, and the beautiful blue of peace and higher communication. When these gems are lit up, by unicorn energy, they bring forward your self-worth and confidence so that you can take action with love and common sense. Your guidance today is to ask for a cosmic ruby to be placed in your solar plexus. As you sense its light being absorbed by your systems, know that a new improved version of yourself is stepping forward. Your guidance then is to practice being wise and calm. Your unicorn will be with you as you communicate serenely and diplomatically with everyone. Look for peaceful solutions to all the challenges that are presented to you and trust that you will be guided to find a good way forward. Ask your unicorn to place a cosmic 
Ruby illuminated with this energy over parts of the world where people cannot express their truth or where there is conflict, send it to learning establishments where students need confidence. Visualize it over individuals and groups who need enlightened thinking to bring about peace. Your unicorn is reminding you that a cosmic ruby accelerates your spiritual journey to intergalactic mastery if this path resonates with you. Visualize the gem round your energy fields. Know that your unicorn is lighting the way for you. Work with a cosmic ruby. Sense Archangel Uriel holding a huge glowing deep red ruby. Your unicorn is filling it with pure white unicorn love. Archangel Uriel places it in your solar plexus. Sense your confidence, self-worth, and inner peace growing. The cosmic ruby is expanding until it surrounds you. Send peace and wisdom to people and places everywhere. Now, I'd like you to repeat this affirmation to yourself out loud or write it down on a piece of paper. I seek peaceful solutions. So this number on the bottom is a 32, which also breaks down to a 5. So these numbers can be significant for you. Moving on to our Spirit of the Animals Oracle. And again, these messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. The messages may or may not resonate with you. So take what does and leave the rest for who it does. These messages are timeless, so you can go back and watch them at any time. A Capricorn. Let's see what your spear animals are. So first we got Puffin Partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. Our next message we got, Wolf Pathfinder. Release your past. And start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul's strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Then we got the bottom of the deck, B, community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Which is definitely the Capricorn, the queen of pentacles card in the deck. So our overall energy, we got eagle mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom transpires the world. Spiral Oracle messages. These messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So our first message that wanted to come out, we got children of light. So 
So this message, my my um, I'm going to read a little thing in the book. My childhood was marked by events that connected me with diverse knowledge. I experienced depths of pain and joy. A day was a lifetime where imaginary games and surprises guided me. As an adult, I have forgotten many things, sometimes even how to connect with and listen to my true nature. My true nature lets me know it is still here, resonating, hidden somewhere in my chest. The time has come for me to find myself in every child and every young person with care and love. I feel their best of life in me. I open the way for us to create a world together, an unbounded imagination. There is inherent wisdom in every child, simplicity of living and true laughter. Every child is my sweetest mirror. There is a silver lining in every teenager's rebellion, change, and courage. A seed needs simple elements to grow. Water, earth, air, sun, and love. That is what I sow today. Simplicity. I return to the simple. Through my generous and innocent spirit, I ask myself, what is my greatest fear? What is my magical desire? By observing my fears... I take them out of the dark spaces, and thus, they no longer prevail. Now I create spaces for others to grow, for me to grow. I enjoy the simple things again. I recover my capacity for wonderment. Everything is renewed and fills my spaces with magical energy. Then we got Stellar Embrace. I argued with reality and life felt like a strict teacher. How can I rest in my here and now when the situation is so complex? So I took a journey of self-observation and found a limitation that I hadn't seen before. Little by little, adapting to the new and accepting that space as it is, a deep gratitude began to grow in me. Today, I welcome in my heart a sacred sadness, a true vulnerable I. Today, I finally give myself a break. Life invites me to dare to go through the dark night of feelings not fully lived because it is useless to fight against the inevitable. Much of the dance of life is moving in an uncertain, mysterious direction. I am not in control, so I let go of that struggle. Move out of the way and stop being the interference in my own path. I accept my sadness and I grow in joy. I accept my weaknesses and increase my strength. Acceptance and reconciliation. Acceptance matures in me when there is full confidence that I can throw myself into the void and pass through the confusion, confusion, knowing that the intelligence of life always sustains me. I jump into abyss made of fear, and after jumping in, I begin to float. As I float, I look down from above, and the landscape of acceptance permeates me completely. My inner struggle calms down, and an immersed force springs forth from that place. I reconcile myself. I embrace in myself all that is coming. What you deny claims you. What you accept transforms you. Our last final message we got is infinite self known. Chains have tied me to an illusionary hier hierarchical system. I unveil it and discover those powerful puppets are just embodying an old symbology. Accepting that the masses have shaped the world, I recreate and regenerate myself from the very origin of my existence, for I am the world itself. Capricorn is the world. If I contaminate my body, my blood, my air, my atmosphere, I poison humanity. Now I recognize I am an antibody in a sick society. I cleanse the, I clean the doors of my perception and the Taurus appears. 
a magnetic field that surrounds the earth, the individual and the atom, a symbol of my own energy. I am vital energy. I am the galaxies. I am an infinite circle spiraling into the center. Face it. I transmit fears by observing them to face to face and acknowledging the pure being that lives within me. Do not banish fear, for it is useful. Banish cowardice. Heroes fear, but they fight. And these messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Moving on to our messages from Gaia. And then we will final off the reading with a power of love activation. Messages are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your messages from Gaia. That's a beautiful message. So we got <laughs> Gaia, number five. So we got five, five today. So change is very significant. Big change is coming. Um, I, I just see blessings on top of blessings. I am communion, sorry, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. I am in communion with Mother Earth. I hear her call. I am grateful for her love and share her wisdom with others. I am a beacon of light. All evolves and unfolds through love. The Gaia card is the most powerful card in this deck. It shows that you have a deep spiritual connection to the earth and a deep spiritual understanding of life. Gaia, the earth mother, thanks you for the love and consideration you show towards her and the love you have for all living things. She encourages you to gently and lovingly share your wisdom and knowledge of the earth with others. Perhaps you may join with like-minded souls to share your messages of love or you may choose to do practical things to help the earth restore her balance and well-being. Yet this is not a call to preach to others. You are a beacon of light. Remain that way. Share your knowledge and wisdom only with those that are ready to hear it. And do not fear the earth changes that are taking place. For all is evolving and unfolding as it should. All the earth needs is a little more love. So our final messages for today's reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get some power of love activation messages. Hope these mes messages have resonated with you. If they have, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe for all my new content. Thank you. These messages, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Christmas. And this is your power of love messages. All right. So our first message that came out, we got forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Then we got purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to constantly just demonstrate love. Loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. The bottom of the deck, we got 
responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. And then for our overall message for the reading, today we got elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. So that's our last message for today. I hope these messages have resonated with you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.